Okay, so in this question, we had a cylinder. The radius of the cylinder, R1, is equal to 2.5 centimetres. The height of the cylinder, H1, is equal to 5.0 centimetres. The emissivity is equal to 0 0.85. The temperature of the cylinder is 30 degrees C. And the temperature of the surroundings is equal to 50 degrees C. In part A of the question, we were asked to calculate the net energy transfer by heat from this cylinder. Okay, so this cylinder is going to be gaining energy as it's got a lower temperature than its surroundings. Okay, so the formula we'll need to use is sigma A E T to the 4 minus T naught to the 4. So we need to work out A, the surface area. This is a cylinder. So it's got two circular ends with the surface area pi r squared and then it's got this rectangular piece here which is the circumference of a circle times h. Okay, so substituting in we've got 2 pi times 0 0.025 squared plus 2 pi times 0 0.025 times 0 0.05. Solving that on the calculator, you end up with 0 0.01178 metres squared as the surface area. Okay, now we can substitute everything in here. Sigma, Stefan's constant, 5.6696 times 10 to the minus 8 times the surface area we've calculated down here, 0 0.01178 times the emissivity, 0 0.85 times t to the 4. So that's the 30 plus 273 to the 4 minus the temperature of the surroundings. So 50 plus 273 to the 4. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with minus 1.39 watts. So this minus is just because t to the 4 is lower than t naught to the 4. So we should put 1.39 watts transferred to the cylinder. Okay, part B. In part B, we're stretching out the cylinder so that it's got a new radius of 0 0.5 centimetres. We're keeping everything else the same. So we're keeping the volume of the cylinders the same because we're not creating or destroying matter. So volume 1 is equal to volume 2. The volume of cylinder 1 is pi r1 squared h. And the h1 and the volume of cylinder 2 is pi r2 squared h2. So we've been told r2. What we need to work out to get the surface area of our second cylinder is the length of the cylinder. So h2 is equal to r1 squared h1 over r2 squared. So that's 2.5 squared times 5 over 0 0.5 squared. That gives us, when we solve it on a calculator, 125 centimetres. Okay, so A2, we can just substitute into this formula, 2 pi R2 squared, so 2 pi times 0 0.005 squared, plus 2 pi times 0 0.005 times this new length, 1.25. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with the new surface area of 0 0.0394 metres squared. We're asked to find the ratio of energy transfers, so P2 over P1. This is sigma A to E T to the 4 minus T naught to the 4. Sigma A1 E T to the 4 minus T naught to the 4. Everything apart from the surface area is staying the same, so it will cancel out. So we've just got A2 on A1. A2 is 0 0.0394 over 0 0.01178. That's our A1. And so solving that, we end up with 3.34. So cylinder 2, the long skinny one, loses heat about 3.34 times as quickly as cylinder 1, the short stubby one.